What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute full body finisher workout. Grab a couple sets of dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout today. I'm very excited to have you here. Just a couple things to get you set up and we'll jump right into it. First, if you have your bench, I'm gonna be using mine today for a split squat move and also my chest fly and then water and a sweat towel, of course. We're gonna range in dumbbells from the chest fly weight all the way down to a single arm front squat. So whatever that weight is for you. For myself, it will be anywhere from 10 to 30 pounds, but grab weights that work for you in those type of exercises, okay? Three rounds of two exercises back to back, 45 seconds of work, and then we'll move on to the next one, an upper and a lower paired together. So let's go ahead and get started with your warm up. all right? Tap it right here, three, two, one, let's go. Tap and move your arms. Good job, now bring it in the middle, march it out. Good, cross your arms over your chest. body and up. Good. Heels to glutes. Good. Step it back. High kicks for the hamstrings. Good, one more, and then stop right here, hinge your hips back. One more, good job. Bring your heels in just a bit. Sit and stand. Good job, next one. Sit down, stay down. Let's kick the left leg back, right leg up. And lift and lower the hips. Three, two, and switch it over on your next one. Keep it going. Good, both feet back, plank position. Drop your hips, open your chest up, and we'll get started in about 20 seconds. We're gonna go reverse lunges for exercise one. So make your way back up. Okay, grab your dumbbells and hold them right down by your side. Okay, we're gonna step it back right here, 45 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Alternating left, then right. Starting off with some moves that are just upper body or just lower body, and then we'll move down to some compounds to finish it out with a bang at the end. 15. Two, one, rest. Good job. Next move, single arm row. I'm gonna go to my 20. Okay, right here. Let's go in four. Two, one, here we go. Go. 
Good, just one arm. Next round, we'll switch. Fifteen. Two, one, and rest. And two more rounds of that circuit. So we're back to the top with reverse lunges. Four, three, two, Let's go. Great job, come on, 20 seconds. Two, one, good job. Now let's switch it to the other side, the other arm for your bent row. Whew. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. You can go on the bench like this with your leg and your arm on the opposite side. You can go just your arm or you can just hang out here. Totally up to you. Fifteen. Four. Two, one. Good job. Last round of both of them. Okay, I want you to finish round three really strong here. Reverse lunges, keep alternating. Make those transitions nice and efficient. And then we'll hit alternating rows for our last round. Ready? Let's go. Every round, I want you to finish like you're giving it your all. Every circuit, round three, think of each one of them as your finishers. Good job. 20. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right. Single arm rows. You're gonna go left and right. Okay, so grab the other dumbbell. And if you wanna go to the bench, feel free. Ready? Let's go. Keep it up, come on. Big pull, good job, you got 10. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful job, grab water. We've got alternating front squat tap downs. And then an overhead tricep extension. So in 15, you're gonna have one dumbbell here in the middle. Okay, you're gonna grab it, come up, front squat, put it back down. Okay, switch. 
Grab it, front squat, put it down. Continue switching, okay? Let's go in 12. I'll give you time to get your weights out. After that, tricep overhead extension and we're gonna walk with it, okay? Here we go, three. Let's start with our left hand. Two, one. Grab it, clean, squat, and switch. Keep your hips forward. Make sure when you pick it up, you're not coming here. Okay. Three, two, one. Good. Likely the same dumbbell. You're gonna take it overhead. You're gonna go down, step, down, step. Okay, just adding a little variable here. Walking it out a little bit. Two, one, let's go. This also helps me keep you moving in terms of your reps. So every step is a push and a push and a push. Fifteen. Good. Push, push, push. Keep pushing. Five. Two. One. Good job. Bring it back to the middle. Two more rounds of that. You can go up. Let's do it. Four. Three. Front squat. Two. One. Good job. Come on, push yourself today. It's all about the way that you close it out. Five, four, two, one, rest. Good job. All right, walking, tricep extensions. Here we go. Four, two, one, step and push. Come on. Good work, keep your core tight. Fifteen. Seven, six. Three, two, rest. Good job, this is your finisher round. If you can go heavier, let's do it. Good transition time here. So tap, sit, go, go, go. Okay, four, three, two, let's get it. Fifteen. One more, four, 
two, one, rest. Good job. All right, tricep overhead extensions, then we're gonna pull the bench out. Ugh. Breathe, come on. Two, one, go. Let that burn set in, and then push through it. Almost there, almost there. 10. Let's go. Five, four, one more. Two, one, How? Oh, breathe. Good job, grab water. Oh, by the way, sorry about my scratchy throat. It's on its way out. Just had like a little congestion issue, which was coughing a lot for us, so and my throat's a little scratchy. I'm feeling fine, but it sounds worse than it is. So if I'm sounding a little different, it's just on its way out. I'm taking care of myself, I promise, just like I always tell you to do. All right, so we've got split squats and chest flies, okay? I'm gonna put my bench this way and just kind of rock my split squats here so then I can go right into my chest fly, okay? <clears throat> so, 15 seconds. We're gonna go split squat first, okay? One foot is back. If you don't have a bench, that back leg is straight back and you're sitting here, okay? Let's go, three, two, one. Sit it down, come on. 45 seconds here. Think about the front leg just squatting, okay? Don't worry about anything else, but the front leg is a squat. Stay away from your back leg, lean over that front torso, over your quad a little bit. Four, three, two, one, good. Now lay it down, chest fly. Okay, if you're on the floor, keep your feet just right past your glutes. We're opening it up right here. Four, two, one, let's go. You're circling right around your rib cage, not your shoulders. So if you're way up high, it's gonna be dangerous for your shoulders. Keep it low so we can target where we wanna target, which is the pecs right now. Good job, 20 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Come on back up, let's go. Split squats with the other leg. Ready? Five, three, two, one, and sit it down, good. Remember not to sit and then push back into your back leg. You're all up front. Good, see how I'm a little bit hinged at the top? So I'm not here pushing back on that back leg. I'm still bent over just a bit. Weight is in my front heel. Push, okay. Forget about the back leg, it's there but you're not using it. 10 seconds. Your front quad, your front glute. Five, two, one, good job. All right, chest fly again. Round three for your split squats, we're gonna go 45 right into 45, and that'll be round three, okay? Chest fly, 
Let's go. Four, three, two, come on. Good job, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, good job, come on up. All right, 45 and then 45. Without resting, you'll just go right into the second leg. So, start with the leg that you started with first round. We go in five, two, one, come on. Yes, great job. Fifteen, and you switch. One more and switch. Four, two, other leg, let's go, 45 here. seconds. Four, three, last one, two, and rest. Good. 15 seconds. Last round of chest fly. Let's go. Whew. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Four, three, two, let's go. One more, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Whew, grab some water. Great work. All right. Very proud of you. We're moving into a circuit of four, okay? Four exercises, three rounds through. Probably very similar weights for all of them. I'm gonna be using my 20s, 20 pound dumbbells. The lightest weight would be a sumo squat and curl. So whatever your bicep curl weight is, that'll be your lightest one, your heaviest one, push press, okay? For that one, I'm gonna use 220s, I'm gonna curl 120, so I'm gonna stick right around the 20s, okay? First exercise, we're hitting the posterior for the legs. So you've got a dumbbell, Romanian deadlift, and shoulder press. Single side, single leg, okay? So you're going here, come up, press. Opposite leg is doing your deadlift, okay? And then we'll go into sumo squat and curl, and then we'll go push press, and then we'll go hang cleans, okay? So give me right leg, left arm. Three, two, one, deadlift. Come up, press. If you can float your back leg, float it, bring it to your chest, press. Do not come down from your shoulder press 
and go right into your deadlift, okay? Bring it down, you're here, then you hinge. It might look fluid, but you've got to nail each position to make sure that posterior chain works on the lower, then core, then shoulders. Twenty seconds. Good job. <laughs> Ten. Three, two, one. Rest for fifteen. Keep this dumbbell in the same arm. You're stepping out to that arm side. Sit, curl. Sit, curl, okay? Let's go in four, shake your hand out. Three, two, one. Make sure you're not twisting here when you sit, okay? Right here. One more, four, three, two, rest. Now give me the other dumbbell, and we're loading them up top. You're pushing again. Tiny dip, push, okay? So use momentum from your legs. Three, two, one. Lock it out and then bring it down and reset. Ten. One more, three. Rest, good. Now hand clean, okay? So you're taking a little hinge right here. Power through with the hips, catch, okay? Let's go in five. Two, one, come on. You can go in front of your thighs. This is what you would do if you had a barbell, okay? You can also go kind of beside your legs since we have dumbbells. Here, shovel those hips forward, and then drop under your dumbbells. Four. Two, one, rest. All right, right hand, it's your time. So we're switching, single leg deadlift and shoulder press. Right hand, left leg. Two, one, let's go. Four, two, one, good. All right, same arm, curl, step out, pull it up, okay? Seven, 
two, one, let's go. Great job. Twenty. Two, one, good. Grab your two dumbbells. Push press. Whew. Now number three. Use as much leg as you need to. The little momentum push is there for you. Two, one, dip punch, drop under it. Notice how I'm catching, fully locked out up top, under my dumbbells. Then I straighten up. Okay, so as soon as you get them moving, give it a little drop, okay? Here, sit. Good. Seven. Two. One, good. Hang cleans. So they're coming from a hanging position, either here or here. And if you have a barbell, you could pull it here. Shoot your elbows under, okay? <sighs> Same thing though, you're gonna drop under as soon as you get it moving. Two, one, let's go. Thirteen. Two, one, good. All right, back to the top. One last round through one side and then the other. We're splitting it halfway through. I'll tell you to switch, okay? Whew. All right, so give me left arm, right leg. Two, one, here we go. Let's keep it moving here. 22 seconds here and then we'll switch arms and that exercise will be done. Two, one, switch on your next one, let's go. Seven. Come on, this is your finisher. Three, two, rest. All right, switch back over. Other arm. 22 seconds, sumo squat and curl. Starting with your left arm, then we go to the right. Four, three, two, come on. Five, four, three, two, switch, and keep going. 22 seconds here. Four, two, one, good. We're gonna do the same thing with your push press. Okay, so back to the other arm. Single leg, or single arm. Okay, switching halfway through. Let's go, five, 
two, one, come on. Two more and switch. Two, one, switch sides, keep going. Switch back to the other arm, same thing, hand cleans. So you're here. Okay, keep it moving if you can. Four, three, two, left arm, go. Don't twist, here. Shoulders stay level. And you sit, and you sit. Four, switch it over in three, two, one. Keep going, let's go. Three, two, one, and Put those dumbbells down. Whew. All right. Grab water, here's your true finisher. Every single part of a burpee, okay? So I'm gonna use my 10s. You can use 10, 15, 20, whatever you wanna use. All right, we're going down for that burpee. You start with the push up, and then you step wide. Row, row. Come up, full extension. Okay? Whew. In six seconds, we're going. Two minutes on the clock. This is your finisher, full body. Ready as many as you can in two minutes. Let's go. Modifications, push-ups on your knees, totally fine. but just don't quit, okay? Whew. You're officially done with your first minute right now. Minute number two, let's go. Finish it. Come on, don't stop, don't give up. Good job, good job. Thirty seconds and you're done. Ten. Five, two, one, and breathe. Come on down, hands and knees. Whew. And you've made it to your cool down. Shift your hips back, reach your hands forward. Exhale, look up at your thumbs. There you go, don't leave yet. Give me a minute or two. Good. Right arm straight out to the side. 
Look over to the left and let's push to open your chest up, okay? A little stretch here. Good. Same thing on the other side. Drop your shoulder down, twist and open. Good, walk it up. If you're feeling okay there, lean back. Okay, so a little quad stretch. Good, flip it over onto your glutes. Whew. Legs out to the side. Open the chest forward. Anyone else? Very sweaty. Great job. Full body. I love this workout. I like going up or lower in the same circuit. That's called the peripheral heart action system because it gets your blood pumping to the upper body and then you rest and then back to the lower body so you're really getting your blood moving. If you're feeling flush or hot right now or very sweaty, it makes sense. That was intentional. If you're not a huge sweater but you got your heart rate up, you're feeling warm, mission accomplished as well. Reach over to one side. Go forward through this workout. Whatever you did in this workout to get you through, use it in the most difficult part of your journey outside of here. Switch sides. Is that working on your nutrition? Is it paying attention to your mental health? Is it prioritizing hygiene, like sleep hygiene? Something as silly as taking your makeup off and you're struggling with breakouts or you wake up and you feel just like groggy, cakey. I do that sometimes. I'm talking to myself here as well. Little things like that, that you know make a difference. Apply that mindset that you use to get through today and something else that matters to you, that matters to your journey. Okay, sleep hygiene might not sound like a big deal, but it's the habit of doing something consistently for yourself. It's the mindset around, I deserve this, I want this, I'm gonna do this. And figuring out how to do that in something as small as sleep hygiene will transfer into something as big as your nutrition. Okay, so it's not little, it's not minute, it's not unimportant. It's the mindset that you develop through doing those habits. Okay, come on up to standing, take your time however you need to get up there. Pull your heel to your glute. Good, neutral hips. And switch sides, good. Whatever you need to do today right after this, start your day, end your day with something that benefits you. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Sleep hygiene, floss, fill up your water bottle, Cut up fruit that you bought so it doesn't go to waste. Whatever it is, if it's something small, it matters in the big picture. In fitness, in nutrition, in mental health, in life. You think it's small, but all the small things add up to the big things. Okay, that's how we get there. That's how we get anywhere. So start small, keep that consistent, and then just snowball affect your life. Keep it rolling. I will be back here for you tomorrow. We've got a really fun workout tomorrow. I can't wait for you to rock into that one with me. Show up for it. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you're not new here, subscribe and share this workout as well. Everyone, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow.